Hey everybody, I have posted probably kind of an incendiary post that was probably a lot to deal with unless you understood why I posted it. So I posted an article, and this is kind of speaking to some of the more intellectual Algerians that read a lot and are really into foreign policy and stuff. So some of the things I'm about to talk about may be a little bit boring, but you'll understand why I'm saying what I said. So today, by the way, I'm at the gym. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get my 30 minutes in. So just to let you know just very quickly. So I don't know if you saw this news article that talks about um, how um, these two El Salvadorian children were thrown by traffickers over the border in Texas. And it's horrific. We all know that. But what I was upset were the comments on the article that talked about it, saying how... Um, Spanish people treat their children like garbage, and all this other nonsense. And I, I quick, I came quickly to the, the, um, to make a comment, is that we literally, as a nation, we're the most developed nation in the world. Compare, but it's only developed for some people. I've had friends that have died in the state of Florida because the Republican Party refused to expand Medicaid. I'm not sure you know this, but not every state has health care, even though people in New York, Boston, certain states, Ohio, California, all have free health care. They don't know what it's like living in Florida, and a lot of us can't move. Like, if you own a house, get sick, you can't go anywhere. It's not like you can move to follow health insurance. So when Obama, Obama class to Obamacare in 2010, there was a provision in Obamacare to expand Medicaid throughout the states. And Medicaid expansion is basically Medicaid for all. All right? What that means is that um, no matter what your situation, you can get health care. Because right now with Obamacare, you have to, you have to make, um, what was I going to say? Um, you have to make at least 16000 as a single person to get the subsidies to be able to buy this expensive health insurance. So people that live in other states can't possibly understand, including Algerians that move to Florida, right? Or, um, uh, let's say, uh, people from New York. They move down here, they don't have any understanding of how scary it is. There's no health care. So the reason I'm saying what I said is that here we have people in the comment section on this article that I posted talking so awesome about the United States. Listen, I'm not saying that we don't have amazing people here. I mean, I personally, you see how much I do for Algerians and North Africans. I've probably done more for foreign people than foreign people do, okay? And I love immigrants. I just love them. I'm so happy they're here. You know what I mean? Because I feel like we have so many dummies in this country. And I don't know if it's dummy because they're not intelligent, but it's more dummy because they don't want to look outside of their own world. And that's the way that Trump got elected. And what's been so hard for me over the last couple of years is watching immigrants who all know somebody else who's been hurt by Trump's policies, right? Get right behind him and support fascism while the Americans are, are fighting and getting arrested and trying to stop, trying to stop this stuff. You know, when, when Trump did the Muslim ban, there were doctors at the hospital in the town that I live, they were trapped in these weird bands. Like one doctor was from Sudan, his wife was trapped overseas, she went overseas, they can't get in the country. Literally families were separated by Trump's policies that make no sense. And if you really want to talk about who messed up El Salvador, it's us, right? It was our foreign policy in the 80s with the Contras. And you have to be old enough to understand U.S. foreign policy and actually read books and understand, like, really deep, deeply research and know about South America, know about Chile, know about how the CIA went and assassinated Salvador Allende just because we wanted to put our noses everywhere. We have literally gone all over the world and made drama. Now, I'm not saying that they didn't do it with always the right intentions, but, you know, our, our diplomacy doesn't mean that it's every, in everyone's best interest. It doesn't mean we're bad. It just means, and it doesn't mean we're bad as people. It just means that our, our, the way we've acted as a country has been trash. And just the fact that, except the fact that Trump was even elected, somebody with a third grade education, nasty, sexual abusing, crazy lunatic, who doesn't even pay taxes, when all these other times before, we were always able to like be at least a little proud of the president, you know, and then we had a moron, you know, and all these grifter family members, the fact that we put up with that for four years, the fact that he even got that close to never leaving, 
And now, as you're looking, Matt Gates, he was one of the staunchest offenders. He's under investigations for sex trafficking. People knew that as soon as Trump left office, all kinds of things were going, and a lot of the people that were behind Trump, shit's unraveling for them. So that was just kind of the purpose of that article because I lost it and I wasn't saying that we're a bad country and we don't have good qualities. I was expressing that there's a lot of things we've done as a nation and unless we're more introspective about the way that we, we touch the rest of the world and we become better citizens, we can't, we can't be a part of this, this world. We have to be. And people say, oh, well, America this, America that. Well, you know what? Europe's taking on all the immigrants, but you know what? Europe did a lot of this colonization. They have a lot of prices to pay. So that's my opinion on that. I'm not saying my country's bad. I love my country. I love my family. I love my father, who's a patriot. But even my mother will tell you. My mother, my 86-year-old mother, health care in, in the United States is not equitable. Rich people live, poor people die, and I've had friends that have died of purely preventable things. I know women that have died of asthma. You would never see that. I mean, in some ways, Algeria's healthcare system is even better than this healthcare system here in Florida, which is crazy, right? So I just want you to understand that when I say things or if I'm hard on this country, it's because I'm dealing with the, the ramifications of US foreign policy because I actually help the lottery winners. I have a lottery winner right now that needs a sponsor. I'm going to have to come back and ask you guys for help. So the reality is, you can say I'm a bad person, you can say I'm a goof, you can tell me to leave the country, you can say I should say that, blah, 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 blah. But there's reasons I'm saying it. I just witnessed a president decimate the U.S. lottery system. And these people will never recover. There's people that have lost visas will never get it back. I mean, I watch the U.S. Embassy smile on people's faces and then decimate people and give them all these public charge things. We can't blame them for that, okay? I'm trying to explain to you, it was the foreign policy behind the way we operated. And thank God Biden won. Listen, even if you don't like Biden, none of us go to sleep every night worried that he's gonna do some dumbass shit, all right? Because the people that are with him are all college educated, they're all always the best of the best. There's no knuckleheads in there. In fact, they learned the hard way to not negotiate anymore. Democrats used to be very wimpy, kind of a wimpy group of people, but there's a new breed of liberals, and they know that they can't take democracy for, for granted. They know they have to fight for voting rights. They know they have to do it, because right now Georgia just said that it's illegal to pass out water to the voting lines. George Floyd, you see how people didn't even care about that. That's our country. If what happened to George Floyd happened in another country, the reactions would be completely different. It's because we're not educated. We're raised, to, we're raised to hate. We have guns that are out of control. I live two miles away from Pulse, and the person that had that killed all those people at Pulse, two miles, I had trappers over my head every night. I live in the same state as Parkland. I mean, when I was younger, the only thing we ever heard was Columbine. It was very unusual. But we have Republicans that don't even want to stop, change our gun policy. They don't even want to get rid of AK-47s and AR-15s. Why do people need those guns? Why do they need them? You know what I mean? Why can't we have health care? Why can't we, you know, have everyone be equitable in every state? Like, my state doesn't even charge income tax. And guess what? We have no services. You get sick, you just die. And that's hard for me to tell people that. So if I'm hard on my country, you have to allow me to be, because some of you are very hard on Algeria, and I'm hard on this place, because I am wanting us to do better and be better. You understand? I'm what's called a progressive. I'm not a leftist. I'm just somebody that wants change. I want good things for poor people. I want people to have a chance at education. And that's one of the reasons I fight so hard for immigrants, because I know they're bringing the best of themselves to this country. And, and just like my, I'm the product of immigrants. Me, myself, I'm a product of immigrants. My daughter, the littlest one, she's a product of, a, of her father was an immigrant. He doesn't even speak English that well. But she's the first of his generation to be born in America. My daughter had an immigrant not come here. I wouldn't even have my daughter. You see my point? So the reason I say the things I say, and the reason I'm so hard on America, is not bashing myself. But it's more just because I get so aggravated. 
I get aggravated at our behavior. I get aggravated at our, at our consumption. I get aggravated that we we're, we are so morbidly obese, including me. Our diet is terrible. We, we don't even we don't even subsidize fresh food in the, in, in the high schools. We, we give pizza and hamburgers and chicken nuggets to kids instead of making sure they have vegetables. You know, even in the inner city, it's hard for people that live in the inner city to even get get fresh fruits, right? Greatest country in the world. What are you talking about? I always tell Germans they have to do better by each other. And Americans need to do better too. And the reason I'm so hard on Americans is because I want them to understand that all the things we did all over the world has ramifications. But the only way you would know that is if you read. I mean, most people don't even know the word Salvador Allende. They don't understand how the CIA interfered in other countries. You know, all the things we did. I mean, Voice of America is, was a mouthpiece for, you know, our regime. And hopefully it will come back to be a, something that helps people instead of pushing out nonsense. You know what I mean? And COVID, by the way, I had two family members die of COVID. Had they taken COVID seriously and masked and did what they needed to do, they could have mitigated the entire pandemic. But no, it was more important for Trump to run around and do what if. And see, it's not really just Trump. It's everything behind Trump. It's the mentality, the quote unquote, uh, and I hate it when immigrants jump on this bandwagon. I mean, they agree with these people. It drives me crazy. I'm not saying that you have to agree with who I'm saying. You have to agree with my right to question our behavior. I'm introspective. I'm not beating up. I'm introspective. We need to change as a nation how we look at nutrition, how we look at health care, how we look at education. We have to understand that we are only as good as the least of these. And people like Kennedy were those kind of people. People like J Jimmy Carter. So when you think about Americans, please don't think about the Trumps. Think about the Jimmy Carters. Think about the Kennedys. Think about all the people, Martin Luther King. Think about all the Americans that were that were role models. Think about think about me. When you meet an American, they're shitty. Think about what I did. Because I'm trying to set that balance. Because I know that the ones that live here, we have to right their wrongs. Do better.